How did she contribute to the annual class letter? Her primary participation was when we would go to a reunion or if she would talk to somebody in the class, she would tell me what she used to talk about. Frequently, I would write notes. Particularly, she would, if she, in, during the week I was writing letters, if she would know I was writing about somebody. So I remember talking to so-and-so, and they said so-and-so and such and such. And she would tell me some little clip, something about what they t talked about. One of them they had a new child, or they, the kids started kindergarten, or whatever, you know. And she'd tell me this, and then I would put it in my letter. And then they would think, you just got an unbelievable memory. But that came from mom, see, because mom was participating in my uh, letter writing. And the other thing was, and I think I've told you this before, but when we would go to any reunion, we used to split up, and she'd go talk to the wives, and I'd talk to the guys. And then when we'd get back to our motel or hotel room, she'd tell me who she talked to, what she talked to him about, and I'd write a lot of notes. And then I'd take those, have those notes along with my correspondence from the people when I got ready to write their letter at Christmas time. And so lots of times they would be surprised that I knew something that I don't remember telling Les that at all. Well, it, didn't, it wasn't because he, he didn't tell it to me. He told it to Carol, and I got, I got it from her. That was... That part made uh, made us look like we were really pretty sharp with memory, but we did collect information because they are our class. We were interested in them. I mean, in in almost anything. It didn't make any difference whether they just had a new big grandchild or they just went to the lake for a week with their whole family, or I mean, they'd been on a cruise or what. It doesn't make any difference if they wanted to tell us about their life. We got to live it too. So now she probably you probably had to read the letter before you sent it out, though, right? Oh yeah, she we, oh she proof read the letter and improved it. I, I'm not saying she didn't have a part in the letter. Definitely she did. In fact, that's my biggest problem today is I don't have anybody proofreading it from for content like Mom did. Mom, if I said something just a little bit, it could be said better. Mom would mention that. Mom, Mom was a participant in the letter. She just didn't write it. Mom was a good letter writer, I thought. And she wrote me wonderful letters. I don't... The problem with being in the military was that you don't keep things like you do if you're living in one house. You could just put all the stuff on the shelf and have all this stuff when you get done. Military, every two years you're deciding... For three years, you're deciding what you want to take with you and what you can't or don't think you should take. And unfortunately, we gave away letters. I that was that was dumb. I didn't realize. I just didn't realize it. That was dumb. Yeah. How much space do some letters take up? That's right. And they're and, and, there's, and there's letters so, are so uh, meaningful. They're, they're creative. Yeah. They're they're you. They, they, they tell about the person, they yep. tell what your ideas are, they show the love and concern. They just, there's just a lot of factors in, in a personal letter, you know. Uh, 